Hi, it's just so Trish, and it is Wellness Wednesday after the candy hangover. It's the candy hangover Wednesday. Yeah, it's bad. It's really bad. All right, here we go. Okay, lots of candy. Well, maybe not that much. Well, maybe like this much. Anyways, so what is going on with Wellness Wednesday? I got down to 158. Yeah, it was like 158.6, but whatever. It's in the 150s. But I'm so not, not getting on the scale this week. I refuse. Because you know what the worst storm, the perfect storm period in Halloween perfect storm I ate chocolate yeah I ate a lot of chocolate actually I wasn't doing too bad I was doing really well and then I just kind of had the moment of feeling really not like content but satisfied with being 158 that I was just like you know I don't have to lose the next 20 well 18 pounds in a weekend I can relax a little bit not get comfortable and stay here but just relax so I kind of took that as a mindset and made decent conditions didn't binge because that's like bad um, I didn't binge at all I just was like you know what I'm gonna relax and I did I gave myself grace grace mm -hmm. I ate some M&Ms but so we do a big fall festival and chili cook off and hot dogs and stuff. So I had one cupcake, a hot dog, and chili. But I had sweet tea. And I, had, I just didn't have, I didn't bring my, I wasn't prepared. I never am. You got six kids, you're setting up. It's hard. It's hard. So I was just like, whatever, it's fine. <coughs> and. The other aspect is I may want to slow down a little bit because I can't afford to buy clothes. Not that that's an excuse, but <clears throat> I've always teased my grandmother. I told my grandmother when I said, when you, I'm inheriting your clothes. My grandmother was like a little bean pole, a little bean pole. There was nothing to her. <clears throat> and so, um, I always told her, I said, I'm going to take all your clothes because your cl old clothes are newer than my new clothes. So I got all her clothes. Well, most of her, pretty much all her clothes were size 10 at the end because she just wanted them baggy. And so I have all of her 10s. Well, they're loose. So I need to wear a belt with them because I'm fixing to lose them. I'm like rolling up the waist to um, put them on. So... I can't afford to go and they're really nice. They're Levi's. I'm like, yeah, I don't think I could ever afford Levi's. So if I stay to 10, well, I'm not going to stay to 10. I can wear Levi's. Yeah, that's awesome. So I need to invest in finding a belt. I need to find a belt. So um, here's a, th that was strange. Here's the thing. You don't have to be on it. 100% of the time and do it 100% of the time to be successful. You can take the weekend off. Just don't undo everything you did. If you undo half of what you did, it's okay. But because you're still halfway progressing. And it's just little changes that change your life. It's not super huge changes. I haven't been exercising. Just It just hasn't been working out with everything in our situation it doesn't work out um just track on keep tracking and track what you eat but allow yourself grace you do not have to be a hundred percent with the program whatever program you use so I'm back on it slowing it down it is kind of amazing can you believe let me I wish maybe I can insert right here it's weight loss Wednesday okay this was a hard week for me so what I that's what I looked like last year 
That was me last year. Can you look again? And this last week was the hardest. So if you think I'm coming in here and I'm like, I can do this and I'm so good. Uh, check me loose way. Hey, you can't do this too. No, that's so not it. That was me last year. I wasn't 100% on the program, on any program. And I mean, I flopped. I'm like, Trim Healthy Mama. <coughs> Trim Healthy Mama. Weight Watchers. Trim Healthy Mama. I mean, and I really like flipping, flopping between the two of them because they feel like such a different pace that it works. And it works and I'm changing it up. My brain's not bored. My energy commitment between the two changes. And I love it. I love it for that. So, um, just going at it. Wait till what I look like next year. I don't know. I can't even fathom that. But and then again, I wouldn't have fathomed this. I'm looking a little. I know you can't see it, but I'm like, I'm doing this number because I know what I've been eating. And you know what my downfall was? I bought a 12 pack of Diet Coke. Yeah, I just quit drinking water. I bought Diet Coke. I'm not drinking water. I'm like, are you kidding me? So, trying to take care of all the bad stuff. I ate all the candy. Check. I almost got all the stuff to drink. Check. Now I'm going to be back to where I should be. That's not true. Once I get it done, I'll, I won't buy more. For like a year. Maybe. I don't know. I think I go through like, I want a 12 pack of soda like every, two times a year. But I drink it all in one weekend. It's not like, you know, it's not like I buy a 12 pack of soda and it lasts me for six months. I drive, buy a 12 pack of soda and I drink it in one day. And then I'm like, I don't want I don't do that again. I still need to stick to some convenient, healthy food. I've noticed since living, like, you know, with the house, just completely, we're gutting and camping out while we work on the house that, um... It's hard getting all my vegetables in. I got to figure out something with that. I don't know yet. So, I have that going on. But, gobble gobble. It's almost turkey day. I'm so not going to overload on turkey day. No. No. Anyway, I just want to encourage you today as I'm rambling on. I've been in my jammies. Jammies all week. That's not PMS related. That's just being lazy. Yeah. Yeah, totally lazy. So, um, eventually I'm going to get out my jammies. Well, I did get out my jammies Monday. I was running around crazy getting everything done. I hope y'all had a safe day that day. Um, yesterday I didn't really want to get out my jammies. I got these, like, crazy leggings. My husband like, swears he's like, uh, you look like a ghetto star. And I'm like proud of it but um I don't really consider that being dressed for the day so maybe I might get dressed for the day sometime but maybe not all right anyways I'm gonna let you go I'm gonna get back on track drinking my coffee with my sugar free creamer because that's what I do okay you like the pretty mug I can't figure out where I keep leaving my coffee mugs. So I had to go into the stash. I think I see them though. They're dirty. I don't know how long they've been there. I keep losing them. Alright, I better go. Peace out.